Chris Ariola, who will be taking on Bermain Stavern for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Chris, talk to us about this fight. This fight uh, is going to be a different Chris Ariola. The last fight, I believe, I threw anywhere between 350 and 370 punches. This fight, I'm looking to double that output. I want to make sure that Bermain Stavern knows that he's on a he's in a fight. He's going to be in a 36-minute war for as long as he can last. Because um, I'm in tip-top shape. I'm in great shape. I'm ready to give him war. I'm ready to give him hell. Talk to us about this fight. What else to say, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. Hey, you know, go ahead. It's been a long time coming, so you know, all the talking is I do win. I, I guess not. We still got the press conference, so. Well, Chris says this is revenge. Is this a repeat? Excuse me. I said Chris says this is revenge. Is this repeat for you? This is a knockout for me. <laughs> so, uh, Chris could talk all he want, uh, use all the excuses he wants, or show up at 200, 200. Especially about his life, it don't matter. That won't help him. Uh, nothing's gonna help. Him. Now, Chris looks in pretty good shape. Is there anything different you might have to do in the fight? That, that don't matter. I told you he, he might show up at, uh, 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 at 200 pounds or however you want to show up. That's not gonna help him. It's uh, you know, at this level, I mean, if if you think that that's that's when you wanna train to get shape. It's too, a little too late. Now, talk to us about this conditioning, the shape that you're in. I mean, it's unbelievable. You're down, what, 239, 240? I mean, you're looking great. You know what, I'm, I'm probably like in the, in the low 40s right now. But the thing about it is, this boxing camp wasn't about fat camp. It was about boxing. It was about, you know, training and getting ready for this fight. You know, every day, I did my boxing. And after boxing, I did with my trait to conditional coach, Harry. You know, we did abs, we did legs, we did agility drills, we did everything. Then after that, we'll go, I'll go to the gym later on in the evening, about 7, 8 o'clock, I did my stair mill, I did my uh, elliptical, I did my bike. I don't run, I fucking hate running. I did everything else but run, you know. But the thing about it, man, I'm shaped. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to give this guy, like I said, 36 minutes of hell. You know, the sparring partners, all of them, they're fast and beautiful. And, uh, they had a similar style to Bermain, so I'm ready for this fight. There's a big fight on ESPN, primetime ESPN. What do you think about that? That's great. That's great. I mean, me personally, I watch ESPN every night, so. And um, I'm very thankful that they picked up the fight. They, should, they, they uh, uh, it's amazing. I mean, uh, the visibility is, 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 is incredible. We're talking about millions of viewers. So uh, I'm very happy and grateful for ESPN and, and to be, um, to be a uh, champion uh, uh, on ESPN. You know, and speaking of ESPN, you're going to be fighting on primetime ESPN, where everybody has ESPN if you have cable. Talk to us about that. That's a pretty big event. I believe it's a big event. I know it's a big event, you know. Maybe some people may try to knock it, but I'm like, come on now. It's going to reach millions of homes. Everyone has ESPN. You have cable, you have ESPN. And even if you don't have cable and you're still in the neighbor's cable, you have ESPN. And that's the truth, man. You know, uh, uh, worldwide sports, what better place to uh, showcase my skills and show a real heavyweight fight, you know, a real competitive fight. You know, my respects go out to Klitschko, but that fight was just abysmal. It was horrible. Not because of Klitschko, but a guy that only lands 10 punches in a six, five round fight, that's horrible. Look, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I came here. I came here, to me, I came here as a champion. Because technically, I should be defending my title right now. Not, not fight for the title. The name of Haiti used to be, I mean, it's, 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 it's Spaniola, so. Um, to me, uh, become the first Haitian means a lot to me, especially where I come from. I come from nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. You know, talk to us about history. You might be become the first Mexican of descent. I'm going to be. You're going to be. Okay, talk to us about that. You know, being uh, the first heavyweight champion of Mexican descent, it's an honor. It's a, it's a, it's prideful, it's orgullo. And uh, not only that, man, it's a culmination of my career. You know, I've started boxing at the age of seven. This wasn't an easy road for me. My first fight, I've only made $700. I thought I was balling at the time, but, you know, $700, that shit's done in a night. The thing about it, man, um, 
I want to give people, kids especially, you know, someone to look up to. I, will, I haven't been that in the past, but now I am. I've been working hard, and I want, to, I want them to believe, know that if you work hard, you can achieve anything you want. You want to be a doctor? Go ahead. You could be a doctor. You could be a lawyer. Shit, you could be the best pimp if you want to. <laughs> but honestly, all that matters is that you work hard at it. And what have you been doing in the gym as far as, you know, becoming heavyweight champ? What do you have to do to defeat Bermain Stavern? Everything. I've done everything at the gym. Shadow box, mitts, double end bag, speed bag, punching bag, rope. And then after that, got to do all my abs and all the agility drills. In the boxing gym, I'm there from three to three and a half hours every day. Then after that, I hit another hour, hour and a half of the, of the um, after uh, um, I hit 24 hour fitness and stuff like that. You know, I'm not a guy to run. I hate running. And I still don't run. The only time you'll probably see me running if I'm running up and down the basketball court. I do the stair mill, I do the elliptical, and I do more stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. I love stairs. Henry hates them. He can't even <laughs> do stairs, but I do. That's my thing. That's my shit. You know, if, if victorious, do you want Vladimir Klitschko? When victorious, of course I want Vladimir. You know, that's the goal. The goal is to be the undisputed heavyweight champion. That's, that's what... That's more historic than just winning this title. That's more, that's more rewarding. Have them all in belts. I won't even be able to wear them all over the place. Whatever Chris has, I have, I have double. And whatever Chris do, I could do better. So um, at this point, it's not even about it. If he wants to use excuses about him being in shape now and stuff like that. Go. He could run with that, but that won't help him. Well, you know what, let me tell you something. Um, how the fight gonna go? I'm gonna knock him down, he gonna get up. I'm gonna whoop him and knock him out. That's how it's gonna happen. You want to I want to start more than Chris wanted. Chris is a joke. Chris is not serious. He's not, he never been serious in his career. I don't think he's serious at all. I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that's very disciplined. I don't need a, a, a babysitter, because I want it. I mean, I showed you all my career, I waited for so long for this. Chris is not a, an example of a, a man with uh, uh, discipline, so to speak. You know, partying and drinking and all that, I don't do that. Chris, Chris, Chris is a one-way fighter. Anything he's going to bring is what, more pressure, more punches? That's not going to help him. Like I said, until you get cracked, we're going to find out if he, if he, if, 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 if uh, 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 what he's made of. And he will get cracked, that's for sure. You know, why don't you tell the viewers out there why you will become the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion of the world? I'm going to become the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion of the world because I want to. Because I did it. I worked my ass off in the gym. That's where you want to fight. You don't win it in the ring. The ring is just a formality. Everything I've done, I've worked hard. I've grinded every day. I probably only missed one day of training. That's because I had to go home and whoop my daughter's ass. Other than that, I was at the gym every day, twice a day, and I'm amazed. I made history. I made my history. I made my luck. I don't believe in luck. I made luck. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, bro. And good luck.